Hey, welcome back to Head First Fishing. I'm Captain Joseph Rains, and today I'm going to share with you a bunch of good information on speckled trout fishing. This spring in Tampa Bay, I've had a really good season for speckled trout, and there seems to be a consistent pattern with them for getting the bigger ones. And that pattern is fishing around oyster beds. That's really been a key for me for getting these bigger speckled trout. So I'm going to run you through a bunch of these clips, and I'm going to break down what's going on. In some cases, I'll already be talking in the clips and explaining what's going on. And in other cases, I'll be talking to you as I am right now. Threw that swim bait right up on the oyster bed there at the shoreline and thumped a nice one. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Now that is a speckled trout right there. All right, so I've been picking along the shoreline, casting to interesting looking things. We came along a nice oyster bed that was up against the groves. So I threw this Bass Assassin, Saltwater Assassin, Elite Shiner paddle tail up there, right up on the, on the oyster bed and just slowly let it slide down at the same kind of sloping degree and then swam it out. And uh, I got a couple small thumps and then something really thumped it. And as you can see, this beautiful trout just inhaled that lure so I stuck it and man the head thrashing began but uh, springtime trout fishing is on people you need to get on it so in this next clip we're fishing Terracia Preserve I'm in this area all the time I've got some friends that have come down to visit I told them I would put them on a really good bite and all the conditions lined up the tides uh, you know the solunar tables Everything was perfect. The water temperature was good. We had tons of bait. It was amazing. So uh, the day started out a little bit slow, but we worked our way over to this oyster bed out on the flat. And as soon as we arrived, it was game on. I threw out a bat full of chum. Some of them got popped and then they put their bait out and it was boom, 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 boom. Lots of nice trout in this hole. Wasn't really expecting that and I uh, was super happy that we pulled out a bunch of nice fish. Got some decent snook here, but uh, right next to the oyster bed, there's a little hole, and every time your bait got near that hole, it was game over. Boom. Get that sucker in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! yeah! Yeah! That's a fat trout. Wow! Yeah. Oh. Look at that thing, man. Oh, hog. All right, you've got a big old yellow mouth speckled trout. That's a 22-inch trout with a big fat yeah. belly on it. Yeah, it's like baby, big old speckled trout. Big old speckled trout, dude. That's a 20 incher. Big old gator trout. Yeah! Beast. Wow! Beast trout, dude. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. That's a 20, 21 inch trout, dude. Wow. Mm. Fat. That's a fat trout, dude. Another game. <laughs> He's a horse. He's a horse. Glad you came down to visit, buddy. Yes, sir. Oh, glad man, to be down that's here. a gorgeous trout, dude. Smoking. This really is some of the finest trout I've ever seen caught right there. That is a really nice trout. Absolutely slaying the speckled trout. It's that time of year. We got another fish on. Come up to the front. So in this last clip, this is early in the season. This is early March, getting ready for spring fishing to kick off and I'm establishing my pattern and I'm in the Fort DeSoto area and I'm fishing along these shorelines and I'm looking for significant changes in the bottom, looking for big patches of grass with big sand holes nearby, changes in the bottom and obviously big oyster beds. You can't quite see it in this clip but off to the right of the screen there's a big oyster bed and you can get on Google Maps and you can find these oyster beds actually pretty easily. You just zoom on in and you'll see them sticking out from the shoreline. They'll be clustered out in the middle of the flat. 
Uh, they're not hard to find. But as soon as I got around this oyster bed, I started catching some smaller trout. And uh, not far down the shore from it, there was a little depth change, and then I pulled out a couple of nice keeper-sized trout. So, again, oyster beds and other significant features around each other are fish magnets. So something to remember when you're speckled trout. Jeez, that's a good fish. Something to remember is that trout will hang out away from the mangroves. Well, he nailed it. That's a decent fish there. Look at that. That's a nice trout. A meat hook, saltwater sass, and paddle tail. Look at that trout, dude. Freaking nailed it. That's a high quality fish right there. Now, when you go speckled trout fishing, that's what you're looking for. Not a giant, but that's a really high quality fish. Nailed it. This color right here is a color you need to check out. This is the meat hook color from Saltwater Assassin Lures. And that's a Z-Man Trout Eye Jig Head. Check them out, you won't be disappointed. So I was coming along, there's a there's an oyster bar over here. Jesus, I just got lit up again. Jesus. I get lit up right here next to the boat. Um, there's a little depression right here. It's maybe six to ten inches difference, but you can see this is a little bit different, a little bit deeper water. Oysters, depression, your main flat out here, you know. Um, just that little change is enough to track the fish. Right in that hole. Pothole way down there. I can see that pothole about 50 yards away. That's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. Look at that. That is a nice trout. It's about a 17, 18 inch fish. Come here, buddy. That's a beauty. I'm telling you guys. Well, broke my line. I'm telling you that meat hook, saltwater assassin, is the ticket. You need to stop by St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters, or Tarpon Fishing Outfitters and get the meat hook color. If that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what does. I really can't say enough about these saltwater assassin paddle tails. I love their jerk baits too. The colors are really good. The scent that they put out is good. The action is good. All around really good fish producing lures. Make sure you stop by our stores, St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters, and Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, and load up on them, along with half ounce and quarter ounce jig heads. Thanks for coming by the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and email headfirstfishing at gmail.com if you have any questions. I'll see you later.